Alright YouTubers, it's me, Dark Poet. Don't you just love my big old screen with Betty Page at 1920 by 1080? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is a another video about the Wii Mod Infinity Trainer. And there's some information that I have not shared in previous videos on this trainer. It is a really good trainer. Some people have been upset by the... Uh, the last or latest update to this particular software program. Um, I had somebody comment on my YouTube video for this that it wasn't working with their game. So, this time around I'm going to give you a little bit more information. Yes, this is free to use, free to download. You can sign up and log in if you choose to it's not a requirement you don't have to um, they changed the way this looked the GUI is totally different but this is your home page you even have a settings page which actually opens up a, a dialog box which you can't move but you can also view the change log and what they've done uh, the cheat sounds by default is on so when you're playing in game and you use the hotkey to activate a cheat you will get a sound to let you know that the cheat was successfully turned on this is your games page which can be collapsed because there are a lot this is the not installed list it apparently hasn't loaded up all the there we go they're starting to load up this is an extremely extensive list. If I grab this here bad boy, it goes from A to Z. <sighs> and as you can see, I went kind of quickly, but this is a lot of games. But these, none of these are installed on my machine. And there's a little owned tab which shows you what games I have. Um, I've already beaten Arkham Knight. I decided to do a new game plus and I used this cheat or trainer with it and I didn't like it because I think anytime I, I you know I was just messing around because the difficulty for the new game plus was set to nightmare and I'm going oh my god <laughs> so I had F1 through F6 turned on, so F1 is unlimited health, F3 is unlimited equipment, F4 is unlimited grapple distance, F2 is unlimited Wayne Tech points. I can tell you that this one actually works. It took me to 999 Wayne Tech points. I'm not sure if the vehicle stuff works. I had them on as well. Unlimited vehicle health and unlimited afterburner. The problem I had with this particular trainer for this game was when you accelerated while in the Batmobile the acceleration continued even after you let off the damn trigger your vehicle kept going and it was incredibly hard to control the vehicle so I turned off everything for the vehicle and just left you know these four here on but the vehicle, once you hit accelerate, it just kept going all on its own, speeding up. Extremely hard to turn. Um, even hitting the brake seemed to not work, so I actually had to go into battle mode to stop the vehicle. So, if you want to use this particular trainer for Batman Arkham Knight, use at your own risk. I mean, it's fine, I think, as long as you don't use the Batmobile. But there are elements in this game that require to use the Batmobile. So it's up to you. Um, maybe they can tweak this one. This was January 7. Uh, and here's another one. But somebody, I guess this is a, a check. I'm not sure if they're both exactly the same or some tweaks have been done. I haven't tried the other one. But yeah. I've used it for Doom 2016. It works there as well. 
I do have Grand Theft Auto 5 set in here, but this is one of the things that I wanted to show you. First of all, on this particular game, if you go in here and you get infinite ammo, all you have to do is toggle F1 and it'll give you infinite ammo. But the piece of information I have not shared with my previous videos is Mod does not condone cracked games. For those of you who are not familiar with the term cracked, it means that you have either acquired a game via, say, the Pirate Bay, or you actually own a physical copy of the game, but you've used a cracked executable file for the basic reason of I don't want to have to have the disc in my drive to play this game. I want to be able to play it without that. And that's generally where a crack comes in. I've done it millions of times with Grand Theft Auto 4 in particular. I didn't want to keep having the disc in there so I had a cracked EXE file so I could play without the disc. Um, there have been several games I've had over the years that I've done that. But to Wiimot, it doesn't matter whether you actually own a physical copy of the game. If you use a cracked EXE file or a Steam API DLL or a Steam Any, it's considered a cracked game, whether you legitimately own it or not. And this platform will not work. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try GTA 5 um, to show you. Let me get my controller turned on. Now, I had to, it only shows up in here for one reason. Um, let's, let's take it back to the way it was. Because my GTA 5 is down here. This is, if you notice, all these games up here, they are legit purchase games. Um, some of the, most of these are Steam. Uh, mm, I think... Yeah, I think only one of these games is from Origin, and that's my Need for Speed Most Wanted. But these are all legit. Everything down here is cracked. So, yeah. So in order for me to use this with Grand Theft Auto V, I had to fix it. And I use option B. As long as you know where your game file is... Um, I do believe you have to use the launcher for this one and just pick this game EXE and it sets it up and then you just once you're open into this because some people have a hard time when they come to this point they're like I don't see any cheats I can't use it you need to click on the author or the creator's name because there's a little arrow there you click on it and it'll open it up it'll show you what cheats by category for the player for the weapons, for your inventory, for the game, the physics, you can teleport, which I've never actually used that. Uh, for your and for your vehicle, you can spawn a vehicle, which means you'll be alt tabbing in order to you know you select your vehicle once you're in game. Because none of these are accessible, you can't do anything with these right now. See, it's all no, uh, no. It's because they won't work until the game is running. So all you do is hit play. And you allow Wii Mod to start up the game for you. It's the most basic way and the easiest way. So we're going to try this with a game they say this will not work on. If this takes a little too long to um, load up, I will stop the video to load up the game. Because I've had a game I tried this with and it took forever to load. And that was Doom. Uh, it took forever to load. It doesn't take long at all when I just play the game. But when I used the Infinity Trainer, oh my, it took forever to load. But GTA 5, I've already beat it. You don't really need to cheat. <laughs> it's kind of fun all by itself without any cheats. And I've already beat it, so... All that's left for me to do is these little side missions, like what is it, strangers and freaks? 
but it is a good game. And I don't think it's quite in. I'm not really hearing the audio much. But this is loading up at, the, at, a, at a standard speed. It's not slowed down. But GTA 5, I, I, it's actually pretty fun. Of course, I haven't tried any of the online gameplay at all, seeing as how this is not a legitimate copy. But yeah. All right, do I want to stick with my boy here, or do I want to shift to somebody else? Let's shift to somebody else real quick. I love the way you shift from character to character. I love the way it zooms out, zooms back in. Looks like our hero is at home somewhere. I'm starting to understand why mom became a stripper and you robbed banks. You're starting to understand. Okay then. <coughs> yeah, him and his wife had some issues. Let's see if I can find the door and get out of here. I'm stressed. <laughs> now, if you'll notice, that there's a little car icon. His car is out there. For some reason, it's never in the driveway, but I have a little gift up in here that I bought, which the garage door won't let me in. This is my baby. Oh, yeah. And I don't even remember how to get in. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> now, I've had this car worked on. I do like the audio for the vehicles in this game. Gate opens. Now, there's my normal car that you get, that you, you automatically have when you play the game. That's the car you get. I've done it up. I've put all the armor on it. It's got bulletproof tires. I don't think I've... I think this was... I think this one's armored up and bulletproof. Um... So yeah, you can kind of get away with hitting other cars and you take minimal damage, but over time and constantly hitting other vehicles, yes, the damage will eventually show. But the armor does give you a lot of protection against uh, being shot at, for one. <laughs> but now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring my car back into the driveway because I don't really feel like messing it up. And that yellow car there is Tracy's car. And this hill is like slippery. It's like it's been raining, man. I do like the lighting effects on the vehicle. It makes it look a little more real. <laughs> Ooh, flames coming out of my pipes. This car is fun. And there is another thing. If you go and do a job and you take your vehicle and you wind up exiting the area and you're not able to go back and get your vehicle, they will return it to your house automatically. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's see, what have I got here? What have I got here? Okay, that changes the camera. See, he's got over $24 million, and that was because of the last bank job they did. All three characters you can play, I now have $24 million. And he also has a movie studio, which I'm trying to figure out why he's not making any money doing that. Who's beeping at me, man? Alright, so... Let's go with... Let's see, oh, I've got four different pistols. I think one of these is... No, 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 no. One of these is a taser. Stun gun. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that... I think by default has unlimited ammo. Combat pistol with a flashlight. 
All right, let me go up into my yard, which probably won't do any good, but all right, so I'm not seeing where my ammo is displayed. Somebody just screamed. Okay, 30, a 10. Oh, it's displayed up there. Okay. But, now, alt-tabbing back, F1. And now this is, this is what happens. F1. Oh, I'm recording in-game footage. Stop the recording. I'll have to go and find where that was later. That's the problem with using it, so you've got to kind of go in here and actually turn things on. Um, let's see, explosive bullets, uh, infinite health, infinite special ability, infinite lung capacity. Uh, let's see if I can, infinite money. Okay, that one's on too now. Let's just take a look. I still only see 24 million. Unless it's unless it works with whatever you purchase, the amount that you have right now never drops. Explosive bullets. Reloading. Oh. So I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I've got what six rounds left in this thing? Six rounds? Yep, not infinite, inf infinite ammo did not work. I shouldn't have ran out, but I have now run out and he automatically switched to his carbine rifle. So yeah, that cheat does not work. Um, infinite health. What other cheats do we have? Let's take a look first. Okay, infinite money, money you can increase. I'm going to play with it. Increase. Now it's giving you this little busy thing. No, I still have the same amount at this point. Nothing's changed. Okay, it says now we have an add a hundred thousand dollars. You execute by pressing B. All right, let's try that one. I'm clicking on B. So if the hundred thousand works. It should say 24,931,000. So let's try and do this. Boom. That's your confirmation sound. I just added $300,000. Okay, let's exit out. Go back in. No. I still have the same amount. And that's because this game is, yeah. So I just wanted to, sh yes, I am absolutely, positively sure I want to exit. So for that particular game, this does not work. But it did shut everything off when I came out of it. So that goes to support their claim that they don't condone using these with crack games. Someone else asked if they could use this with online games. I do not know if this works with online games. All I can say is they have an extensive list of games, and if that game is in this list, then yes, it will work with it. Um, but so far, just scrolling down, I don't... You know, it works with the Call of Duty games. I'm not sure if it would work with the online part of those games. All you can do is try it and see what happens. But I think with most online games, 
these days they like for example Fortnite you cannot cheat it installs an anti-cheat on your computer so that when you play Fortnite you can't be hacking it and cheating so and I think most games have adopted a similar uh, kind of software within the game itself uh, the epic games launcher that one was pretty in your face because you had to accept it in order to install and play the game which why would you really want to cheat in an online game anyway you know it's you know the, those kind of games it comes down to who plays better who's got the better gear who's got more experience you know it's it's kind of a level playing field unless you're a noob and you're just starting off you're just gonna get slaughtered but yeah but that, but but that's pretty much the same with most online games anyway. <sighs> Let's close out that one. Come back in. Arkham Knight. I haven't used it with Arkham Knight. Let's take a look at what it looks like. It's the same author. You've got unlimited health equipment, Wayne Tech points. Oh, I'm looking at Arkham Knight. I should be looking at Arkham Origins. All right, so you come in and click on Arkham Origins. You don't see anything. You've got to click on Stinger. Unlimited health, one-hit kill, super combos. Freeze the timer. You can add XP. You can teleport. And apparently, you can set up a location. Um, you can add upgrade points. Doesn't look like a lot of stuff. But, you know, if you don't want to die, <laughs> or if you want to be able to do one-hit kills on somebody, um, Darksiders 2 Super Damage Ooh. there needs to be a cheat in here to tell me where the hell to go because I'm really really deep into playing Darksiders 2 and I'm kinda stuck right now because I gotta go to these I'm on this elevator deal that takes you to several different floors and I'm assuming you got to go floor by floor in order. I think it's like four floors. And they're numbered in Roman numerals, one through four. And some of the things I think you need to do, either I'm doing them out of sequence, because I can't figure out, okay, well, I can't get to that. You know, you play around with things. You pull a switch. This thing moves, but that one also moves. So how am I supposed to get across this great expanse? without dying even though I am deaf and Doom 2016 these cheats worked unlimited health yes unlimited armor yes ammo no weapon cooldown instant weapon recharge easy kills which I don't use that one but the custom jump height works too I was doing ludicrous jump heights when I had that on for the physics part of it um, but you need to be careful because even though you've got unlimited health if you fall off a platform normally you would die and it would respawn you at your last location so you can try again but if you have unlimited health on and you miss the jump and you don't land where you're supposed to and you fall you're stuck because you don't die so you don't respawn you just stay at the bottom of this never-ending screen of dropping so yeah you just you got to use common sense when you start using things like that because you'll have to restart the game you'll have to exit reload and start over which is time consuming but yes this thing does work well it does not work with cracked games at all and I just wanted to show you that and you know let you know it's got to be a legitimate game for this to work uh, I haven't used it with any of the I haven't even used it with Mortal Kombat X but I you know I really don't see why 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 would I do this it takes away the entire fun it, ta it takes away all the fun of beating the living crap out of somebody in this game uh, prototype 2 yeah I've never used him in that game either it's, it's like why do you create something for a game that's actually kinda easy and if you just play the game your character gets upgraded regularly 
You get to pick new abilities and increase your defense, increase your offense. Um, Rebel Galaxy, I can understand making this one because you start off with a little bitty ship that can't take much damage and does not dish out much damage either. But it's, it's another one of those games where progression is what you need because I went through this I've already beaten Rebel Galaxy I wish they would do more with this game because I've done beat the main storyline I have a huge dreadnought and everything is maxed out on that ship the armor the shielding the deflector the weapons they're all maxed out I can get into a major conflict in my dreadnought and come out the only survivor because I destroy everything so but I do understand after you've beaten the game if you want to do another playthrough and then use this stuff yeah that's I can understand that completely but to use a cheat from the get-go is kind of eh, I'll use it after I already after I've already beaten the game like the whole GTA 5 was fun I've yeah I died a lot of times I had to do certain missions over several times until I finally got through because I wasn't aware during some of these missions you need to be changing characters and it was like oh wow okay <laughs> but you finally get the game flow and Lego games I don't really see any reason to have cheats for a Lego game either it's just I mean it's nice that somebody's actually creating cheats for a Lego game but I really just don't see why uh, but yeah this is just a short video just wanted to let you know that they do not condone cracked games this infinity trainer will not work with a non-legitimate game and there is a possibility and common sense tells me this that it will not work with an online game so that's basically the gist of it that's some information I didn't relay in the previous videos for this but it still it still works it is fun it can you know if you're if you're really into a game and you are stuck I am pretty sure this will help you out but just like I said, keep in mind, it does not work with Crack Games because Wii Mod has stated on their website that they do not condone Cracked Games. And I'm just going to automatically assume that it's not going to work with an online game. Because like I said, you've got Call of Duty and there are online aspects for the Call of Duty games. Whether they will actually work with the online aspect of these games is for you to find out because... I do not have any of these games. I kind of lost interest in Call of Duty and uh, Medal of Honor. I'm I focus more on stuff like the Batman, Doom, uh, Fallout, GTA. I mean, I used to really be into stuff like Medal of Honor and Call of Duty, but for some reason, I just just I just don't get into them as much anymore. So that's all. For this video, I hope the information I provided to you was helpful, and if there are any more changes or upgrades or updates to this trainer, I will upload another video and I will highlight and discuss the changes or the updates so that you will know what to expect, and that way you can also use the trainer to its maximum effectiveness so if you like this video you like the content I'm putting up please hit the subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you're notified when I upload new videos and also if you like the video please hit that like button it would help me out a lot I'm not in this to make money I'm just uploading videos of the things I enjoy doing and sharing with fellow youtubers and I hope you enjoy watching this as much as I enjoyed creating this content so until the next video peace
All right. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little video to show you exactly how it works. We're going to try this with Arkham Origins. I'll probably start a new game and test this with, hopefully, because I don't want to mess up my current game. So let's get this thing loaded up and see what happens here, eh? Aw, <laughs> uh, we're having trouble downloading the cheats. Please try again later. Well, that's not good. Let's try it again, maybe? Huh? Aw, oh, come on. Alright, fine. Maybe we won't try that one. Let's try something in Mortal Kombat X. What would you, what could you possibly want to do with Mortal Kombat X? Easy kills, no fun, no fun. Prototype 2, what's, what about Tomb Raider? Uh, what's it, STM, you're my man. Unlimited help, unlimited ammo. Add salvage, infinite skill points. Let's try it. One of these is bound to work. Right on. Seems it downloaded. Oh, right. Yeah, let's just play. Let's get into it and see just how well it works. Hopefully this one doesn't take long to load. If it does, I'll stop it. Can we skip all the stuff? And yeah, for those of you who've never played this game, this is exactly how it's supposed to look. So, your, your computer's not glitching. 25% complete. Alright, let's just go ahead and continue. Well... And we're gonna test these cheats out. I've never, I've, I've beaten this game before, and I've never used the trainer with this game. So we're gonna give it a little test run. And this game is awesome. And they've rele they're releasing another Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, or something like that. This was the first in the reboot series. They've got two more now since this one, and this one was awesome. Okay, so here's our campfire, I think. Yep. Alright, so skills, skill points. Let's see what we have in the trainer. We're at zero. Um, if it'll let me. Okay. Unlimited health, unlimited ammo. Let's go ahead and turn on unlimited ammo. Uh, we're going to add some salvage. And infinite skill points. Let's see what's happened. Okay, let's close out and come back in. See if that changes anything. Why, yes. Look at this. Look at all the skill points. And all the salvage. Oh my. Well, I can say this one definitely... Wow, come on. It's automatically upgrading everything to the maximum. Holy wow. These are some weapons I've never acquired in the play. Huh, 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 huh. Alright, let's, uh... Mm, skills. Let's view our categories. 34. Let's get up in here. We've mastered Animal Instincts. Survivalist mastered. That's already mastered. It's already mastered. Arrow retrieval. Let's master that. Scavenging. Yes. Climber's agility. Also increases climbing speed. What have we got here? Orienteering. Through walls, even. Cartography. 
requires tier 3 specialist. Okay, let's move on to hunter upgrades. Master that, master that. Heavy lifter, let's master it. Accomplished killer. Nice. And we just unlocked a specialist skill tier. Nicely done. Bow expert. Pistol expert. Rifle expert. And shotgun expert. And then we move on to brawler upgrades. Dum 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 dum. dum. Axe. Dodge counter. Dodge kill. Hmm. And dodge kill master. Alright, so seven of seven are complete there. I still have 99 skill points. It's not going down at all. Let's move into our salvage. Bow upgrades. Everything is upgradable at this point. Explosive arrows. Reinforced limbs. Plated strings. Stabilizing weight. Penetrating arrows. The most okay. We're complete with the bow. Let's move on to the rifle show. Ooh, jeez. Godly Willikers, man. High capacity mag. Barrel shroud. Match grade barrel. Padded stock. Muzzle break. This is really tape double bag. Polished ejector. A scope. A must have for all you sniper enthusiasts. And a silencer to make our kills quieter. Well, at least a weapon, not the kill itself. The handgun, I mean, this is unbelievable, and I still have over 9,000 salvage. That seems to be dropping. Rapid fire mod. The rapid fire mod is good for when you want to get trigger happy. <laughs> and a silencer on this weapon as well. Okay, we're down to 2,649. Now we step out. And apparently we just gained more salvage. No, no. There's nothing you can do for this. It's, it's maxed. So it looks like everything is done for these weapons. This one says 82%. Um, cartography, I think I had to. Now I can master that. Hmm. Anything in Hunter I couldn't do. Or Brawler. Well, it seems quite obvious that it works. Now it says our salvage is back up. Yep. I exited the camp, came back into the camp, and I'm back up to 9,649 salvage parts. It was down to 2,000. Now it's back up. So, yes, the Infinity Trainer definitely works with this game. So now all my weapons are maxed out. Even though it says 82% on that one, 80% on that one, but everything, you know, available upgrades, maybe it's because I haven't progressed very far. This one's complete. 
10 out of 10 upgrades, 100%. That one's complete. But maybe as I progress through the game, I'll acquire more items for these two weapons. It's, you know, I beat this game years ago, so. But there you go, just letting you see how, how it does work. Which in this case it does. Oh, wait, wait. We got some salvage here too, hey? I've acquired a skill point. Hmm. So we're definitely gaining salvage. I'm not sure if I should be going this way. I may have already been in here. These ruins predate the Kofu period. That's right. Go after all that salvage. You need it. Oh, it seems we have the pistol. Yeah, you can beat up somebody. That's where I need to go. That's a good skill to have. Pilgrimage. As long as you stay still, it shows you where you need to go. The moment you move, you end up exiting it. A queen. Himiko? Mm. Incredible. I don't remember how to change weapons though. Captain Jessup? Mm, got there. But I do not remember how to change. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, this is the guy I'm supposed Captain to be Jessup? saving anyway. Not good. Get off the bridge! I bet you that hurt a little bit. <laughs> For a child, you caused me a great deal of trouble. But you're just as naive and predictable. Kill her! Oi! The Oni! 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 The Oh wow, I was even taken. What the hell? I think I'm hanging. Okay. Start swinging, come on. You know there's a way out of this. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Is it gonna hurt? Oh. But it was the only way. Come on, get up. Let's put all our cheated skills to use. Huh. What's happening here? Oops. Well, there goes a radio. There goes an Oni. Find a way out. Well, there is a hole over here. The question is, do I have all my weapons? Of course not. Why would they give me my weapons? I mean, they took them away. And if I remember correctly, Oni are demons. Definitely not human, so... Let's keep moving through all these corpses and bones, and rolling heads and falling body parts. And get ready to get hurt. The only thing they didn't take away from her is her damn climbing axe. Oh, now I have my weapons. You just magically appear. Oh, look at 
at all the arrows I could be retrieving, but I think I'm full. And my controller's vibrating like crazy. Okay, this... You're gonna need a shotgun. I thought I already had a shotgun. Hmm. Rather loud, yeah. Okay, let's just tell the Oni where we are. They're looking for me. Run! Yeah, it's always good to let the Oni know where we are. And this is a nice little climb area. Alright, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and stop here because I just wanted to show you how it works when it does work. Um, I think that's the first time I've ever seen where it says it failed to download the cheats, so is there a pause? Alright, so I'm going to let you go here, but that is how the trainer works. You saw how it gave me endless skill points and basically infinite salvage pieces to upgrade my weapons and everything else so yes it does work so until the next video once again I tell you peace